Welcome back. Norman Pace and Danielle Lloyd out. Four still playing for that seat in the main draw. Four on the floor and McFadden, the bulk of the mustard. Roy, what's between the other three? Has Des Wilson got to get moving at this stage? I like the way Des Wilson's playing. You know, he's not jeopardized any chips. He's not lost many pots that he's played. This is still very early days, just 33 hands played. It probably won't come to a conclusion to be played about 100 hands. There's a lot of poker yet to be played. And those chip stacks, although it helps to have a lead, don't count for too much just yet. Well, Roy, both Matt Dawson and Brian McFadden, the chip leaders, they've been playing a lot of hands. Uh, uh, they've been playing very well post-flop, especially McFadden. Yeah, McFadden's confidence will be very high right now. Got off to a very shaky start. Those aces changed everything, and now he's using a big stack very well indeed. Yeah, look how straight in the saddle he is. And uh, all of a sudden, the starting cards are hitting him wide. Well, now that he's got the chip laid, he's putting pressure on every juncture. And he's busy talking to Matt Dawson whilst Dexter Fletcher makes the call with a pair of sixes. Psychologically, Fletcher has been out-duped by McFadden in two spots. This is a nice looking flop for the six. Great spot for a pair of sixes. Dex is gonna come out betting to find out if it's good or not. <laughs> Matt Dawson is, is talking McFadden's ear off. Not for the first time, McFadden makes a call with no more than two overcards. He loves doing this. And we've seen exactly the same, oh, what a card. Check. Wow, what a great check by Dexter Fletcher. What a great card and what a great check. He's now got a monster, and he's going to get paid. That's 12,000. We know McFadden's got nothing, but is there an argument here for Fletcher to call rather than raise? <laughs> well, it's such a big hand, I think calling would be the sensible way to go about things. If he just calls and a king or queen arrives on the end, he'll get some more <laughs> chips yet. <laughs> Dexter needs to act a little bit more quickly. He's starting to take his time making big calls. Jason. <laughs> right, I, I think he's I think he's gonna get McFadden to go for this on the river. Check. 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 Well, oh he checked again trying to induce another bluff. Oh he knew he had the best of it. Good lord. And um, <laughs> McFadden. And took a look at the two wise monkeys in the middle there. You, you remember those three wise monkeys, Jesse? Well, there's two of them. Desi <laughs> and Matt Dawson just looking and taking it all in. There's a Wilson under the gun. And McFadden, he's got the big stack. There's not much more things fun in poker than playing that. Where he, he's really up for this, isn't he, McFadden? Well, he, he loves the game, Jesse. That's the key to him. If he's in Dublin, if he's in town, if he's at home, you're going to find him in a car club or casino somewhere in the capital city. And it doesn't matter what the game is, a five pound rebuy comp or a thousand pound sit down cash game, he's in the thick of it. He does seem very comfortable playing deep into these flops. Check. Check. And uh, here he is slow playing again. Is this a possible check raise? He's been trying to trap Dawson all day. Dawson has been very quiet of late and quite noticeable. <laughs> Sitting back on his chips, not getting out of line. Whereas Brian McFadden is enjoying this. Check. <laughs> Look at McFadden. He's leaning all the way over. He's watching every move Dawson makes. Does he have a bead on him? And I think if we see a check raise here, Roy, we'll know exactly what McFadden's up to. Uh, Brian McFadden makes a call. He says, I don't think you've got an ace, not in a million years. Anything but a nine. Scare card for both players again. Can Dawson win with with a second bullet? Well, can he make the second bullet? Can he make the second bluff? That's the big question. Let's not forget, these clashed at the very start. Yes. Didn't even check. No, I didn't need to check, believe me. <laughs> That's all I had. Well, I had less than that. You only had the six? No. <laughs> but he, he actually folded out of turn, Roy, and I think Dawson did not want McFadden to see what he had. Yeah, he, he totally bottled it. That's the bottom line. And again, this is confidence. Brian McFadden right now, the tide is, is with him. Everything is going his way. And this guy here, 
Well, he can sing, he can dance, he can cook, but right now he's not playing poker terribly well, and he just simply missed an opportunity there. After 40 hands, is this a coronation? McFadden just walking down the aisle without any competition at all. Now, I still like Des Wilson, you know, he sat there with 111,000 chips. He's only just beyond the average stack. He commands so much respect at the table because he plays so few hands. But his wins to runs ratio is incredible. McFadden and Dawson in the blinds. Des Wilson. Roy, is his game plan working? As you said, he's winning a high percentage of pots he's playing. He's got a lot of respect to this table. And what I like about him, he's not limping in, he's either raising or passing. Cool. Interesting character, Des. Yeah. You know, we know him as a poker author, but at the end of the day, he ran for office, wanted to be a politician. He's written 12 books in total, ran the campaign for lead-free petrol. He's a real studier of the game, the history of the game, his new book coming out trace the origins of Texas Hold'em. And I think he's in trouble here. A nice strong continuation bet, but McFadden's got the flush draw. Oh, phone book says McFadden will only call. call. Des has got no idea where he stands now. He's going to have to fire a second bullet. That could be Winky. Oh, that that's that's the worst card. Oh, in that the is the worst card in the deck. <laughs> Gives Des a pair of aces and gives Brian McFadden a flush. Des is going to do very well to get out of this. All in. Quick all in! And how many chips does, does Wilson have back? Well, Brian McFadden's done nothing wrong here whatsoever, and he's managed to get his opponent stuck into this pot very deeply with the worst hand. Just shaking his head in that kind of way when you are almost resigned to going out. I don't like it, but I don't think I've got any choice. He knows he's beat, he's got to pass. Yeah, and that's that's the trouble with with the kind of board that he's looking at. S. Wilson knows it's so easy for him to be drawn dead. Could be a straight, could be a flush. Yeah, he's got to realise his opponent wouldn't check raise them all in with so many chips already in the pot with nothing, with a draw. So what can he be beating? Absolutely nothing. He survived a whole day of poker at the World Series of Poker, surely. Oh, stamina is he's, he's like a tortoise on EPO, he'll be around forever. And this is why I think he can pass, and he should pass. Des has spent the past year... You probably got me beat. I'm gonna fall. Nice! He lived to fight another day, and McFadden is just rolling over this game. Oh, with the best of it. Hey, he's nearly got half the chips in play now. And all those nights in those Dublin card rooms, they're paying off. 